Hi everyone, this is Terry, and this is part two of Background Fills. I want to select a design and import it, and use the selection handles to make the design larger, and use a range to move it to the center. Let's go into Background Fills. In part one, we covered the decorative fills, but there's some information I didn't cover, and I want to cover that. So I'll choose Next. And I'll leave the offset at 0.21. This is a decorative fill pattern that I created. And if I open the folder, you can see several patterns. And you can see I selected the one that I created. I want to change the size of this to 2.0. I hit the enter key if you heard that noise I should just choose update preview it's a habit that I have if you notice the offset of this fish you can see the outline and I created that offset so I can explain minimize speed and what it does let's choose update preview and what you see is that it does not close the shape so you basically have the your stitches ending without an outline around the embroidery design. I happen to want to have that closed off, so I will choose Minimize Feed and Update Preview. Let's talk about Exclude External p Patterns now. If you uncheck this and update the preview, you can see that the actual uh, stitches that form the decorative fill pattern are actually stitching behind this embroidery design and I don't want that either so I'll check it and update my preview. I'm satisfied with this design so I'll choose OK and now you see the design with the decorative fill and I wanted to show you another thing that you can do if you select the background fill under the sewing order and choose the uh, show stitched object, objects, excuse me. What I want to do is to actually delete the fish. And to do that I'll, it, while it is selected, I'll choose the trash can. So let me select it and let me choose the trash can to delete it. Now I'll go back to the first object, turn it back on. And I now have that background fill with the outline of the embroidery fill, the embroidery that I had in the past. And now I've created a new design. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next part. Goodbye.